Hey everybody, I'm Joey and today I'm back with another bite-sized cooking hack. Today we're going to talk about cleaning your grill grates. Now a lot of people use this thing right here, this wire brush, but I'll tell you what, it's downright dangerous. So we're going to show you an alternative. Follow me and let's get going. So earlier I said that these are downright dangerous. Why did I say that? Well, you see these wire bristles, when you use them to clean your grill like this, they can come off and get stuck on the grate. What happens when you put down food? Well, they end up in the food, you eat the food, and it ends up inside your body. And these inside your body is no bueno. If you think I'm being just a little bit paranoid about this, let me tell you that I know someone that this personally happened to. Moreover, Emergency rooms across the country are filled with similar cases just like this every single year. So what should we use instead? Well, we're gonna use good old fashioned foil. Let me show you what I mean. So the first thing we need to do is get out a sheet, oh, about 18 inches long, and this is heavy duty foil. We're gonna go ahead and rip it like that, and then we're gonna go ahead and get it into a ball just like this. Now. You'll see that this grill is not yet going. So from here, you just take this foil ball and give it a nice little scrub across the grill grates. That will begin to loosen all that debris that's stuck on there from your previous cook. Now, if the fire's already going and it's really hot, here's the solution. Tongs, just grab those tongs, get the foil ball in there, and you can use the same method all the way across. Now, these are real simple methods that you can use, but let me show you how I do it. I go a little bit further. So what I like to do is get this grill grate out of the pit so I can clean both sides. The first thing I do is grab an old pair of gloves so I don't get the grease on my hands. As you can see, these have been well used for the same purpose over many months. So just gonna go ahead and get it out of there and we're just gonna throw it right here on the ground. So now that we have it out, you know, we're just gonna go ahead, I can get a little bit more leverage and pressure this way. And I like to do just a really thorough job end to end. And so I just start at one side like this, just work my way all the way down, trying to get in those little nooks and crannies. In this case, this folds up right here. This is an aftermarket grill grate. You can get the uh, bottom over here as well. Look, nobody wants the leftovers of last week's cook on today's food, so it's really important you get this clean. Otherwise, you can buy great steaks and they're gonna end up with crispy burnt bits on them from, again, last week's cook. So we're just gonna keep on, on cleaning here. Now, there are other methods if you wanted to get this thing, you know, really close uh, to back in its uh, original condition, using uh, things like vinegar, um, kosher salt, among others, but for uh, a simple clean uh, before each use, this is what I like to use. If we get uh, the foil ball that's just a little bit too greasy, as we have here, well, I have another one. Okay, now that that side's done, we're gonna take it over here and you get the bottom too. Look, we even got some of these grill grates back. I mean, this is a well-worn grill grate. Look, if you'll take a look close inside, you'll see we even got some of these back to their original color. So again, uh, it's never gonna be perfect. It is, after all, a grill grate, but once we fire up the grill, I'm gonna hit it with that foil ball one more time. Again, I am a little bit of a stickler about having as clean a grate as possible, um, but it makes all the difference when it comes to the food. So for everyone at home, I just wanna encourage you guys to stay safe and grill on, get rid of that wire brush, grab an aluminum foil ball. I've heard of some other techniques with an onion, but at the end of the day, um, I can eat the onion. So I really don't wanna use it to clean the grill. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, you know the drill. Go ahead and hit that big thumbs up like button or even better, subscribe to our channel so that you can follow our adventures as we share more simple cooking tips and delicious recipes involving the meats. I'll see you guys next time.